Greeting, traveler. this off season and uh, I, I for one am extremely excited about this tonight uh, and so before we get too far into it let's talk about who's going to be hosting with me tonight I think you recognize all these awesome faces here Icon my hearth center buddy is uh, to my right to Sarmaco down in the corner there he is our tavern talk regular and Saku our stream off extraordinaire down mm, below me how is everything going tonight guys pretty, pretty good bro how about you <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Mac is a little bit tired right now, but he is uh, he's a trooper, so he's hanging oh in there with God. us. I got my I got my uh, little fidget putty, so I'll I'll stay awake. <laughs> yeah, if he if he starts to nod off, just uh you know, just buzz him in chat repeatedly until uh until he comes back. But I think there's gonna be too many cool things to talk about tonight, uh for people to be falling asleep, <clears throat> so uh, this is this is exciting. Uh, this is you know it's it's a it's a new event for THL, a new off season style tournament. Uh, for those who are not familiar with what we're going to be doing, uh, it mimics closely to what you would see in the actual World Cup of soccer or football, depending on the t part of the world you're in. And uh, it's we, we've got everybody broken down. <laughs> you you laugh just said that. football, man. Football. I did, I did say I did say football. I, I mean, I in, in Spanish, man. yeah, and like Latin American okay. countries and stuff. It's referred to as not so. Fair enough. Yes. Make, make football okay. with an F U T B and uh, an O with an accent L. Yeah, you, you're I am multicultural. Pronunciation halfway there. Listen, listen. I, I, <laughs> teach us. I should have left teach that us. to the Spanish teacher. All right. I the, left the O that. makes an O sound, not an A. Right. <laughs> football. It's football. Football. Not football. Listen, it's listen. Football. I took I took Spanish like a decade ago, so this is really it's more than that at this point. But <laughs> we so what we so uh, what we did here is we uh, we broke everybody down into rough regions, and that is essentially what is like your your continent, so to speak. Uh, and those are your those are your teammates. Though you are still playing every match individually, uh, though there are prizes for uh, the best performing regions, so it's still worth it for everybody to play every match, no matter what, even if you are personally eliminated. And uh, we'll get into the prizing and why that's important a little bit later. But what we first want to do. Is uh, is let everybody know where what region they're from, and uh, we're gonna do that uh, just kind of around go around the horn here. Saku, which region do you have prepared for us first to discuss? You want me to flip to that slide, sir? Yeah, let's let's talk about the first region, the first first group of ten. We have forty first... competitors, by the way, so it'll be ten in each region. All right, so we're doing the slide right now. So the first region is gonna be um, northeast region. So here is going to be the players. So we got myself, we got Donde, we got Kel, we got Anfell, we got Lotus Knight, Coles, Blue Sombrero, JR Juggalaw, Shim Jim, I almost had Slim Jim in there, and then Maddie, Maddie BS there. A good pile of people right there. So this, uh, this region, uh, as indicated, Northeast uh, is the Northeastern US plus our one resident uh, Nova Scotian in Saku. So that's uh, th that was uh, kind of the dividing line for this group here. Uh, it stopped as we got down into uh, the New York City area. So anything uh, beyond that, both south and west, are going to be different regions. So uh, the next region up, what do we have there? So 
coming up on screen right now. I believe it's the Atlantic region? Yes. All right, so the Atlantic region is going to be uh, Myanodon, Catman 1950, Rage Doppel, C Macomp H, Osmond Knot, Lefty 2111, Super Murloc, Blue Spartan, Boozasaurus, and Sir Los. So this is a region of uh, players that were down, found down in the southeast U.S. Uh, up to uh, you know the the dividing line just below New York City. So it's going to still be a fairly coastal team, but uh, it does extend inland a little bit uh, from from the uh, from the ocean. So uh, geographically, still a little bit more spread out than the Northeast region, but still the closest that we could form uh, of a group. So I think the Great Lakes region is up next, and uh, Mako, I'll let you take that. Yep, I'm gonna switch over right now. Okay, what's up? Uh, so in the Great Lakes, we have Darkseed, uh, Snake, Triss, Avi, myself, The Chronic, Turd, Shadow Ranger, Big Ted, and Brushy Tuna. So as indicated by the name Great Lakes region, these were players that were all sort of surrounding the, uh, the Great Lakes in the northern U.S. Uh, and Booz asked why Big Ted was in not in Atlantic, but in this one, uh, Western Pennsylvania was a far enough, uh, far enough cry from the other uh, region to make him a better fit for this one geographically. So that's uh, think, Aloha from he could have yeah, done with like back, Midwest right. too, if he wanted. Could, naming wise, could have done that. Yeah, I, I definitely played around with like six different configurations before I settled on on this one. Um, the the last region gets a little little spaced out, as as you'll see. Uh, obviously, yeah. one, one of the agreements I had with people was that so I would not reveal their. <laughs> don't, don't, it'll, it'll make sense. One of the one of the reasons that the reasons I don't tell everybody where specifically everyone's from because people were kind of hesitant. Like I don't want to mm -hmm. get doxxed or anything, and so no one. I'm not revealing anyone's specific location. So the, you know, this is just kind of a, an approximation. But, uh, I'm gonna put Don uh, Day's exact address in a few minutes on screen. So go yeah, for it. Dox me. I don't care, dude. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, so the final region is, is, I guess, somewhat not aptly named the Pacific region, and I'll let Icon <laughs> go ahead and read that because it, it's going to be a little confusing when we yeah, see it. Yeah, um, way out here. I mean, the Pacific Ocean does technically touch most of these people's um, most of homes. Uh, so the Pacific region is Ace 103, Diamond, Rain, Typhoon, myself, Quaz, Ron Mexico, Fuel, Bill Snyder, and Itachi. And uh, the the last three players uh, were very much more inland than uh, the yeah. Coast, but <laughs> it, it, it's or, Itachi or in, or in so far as to go to Louisiana. <laughs> yeah, he is he is touching literally not the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, he's from like the south. But he the, so the dividing line for the Pacific region was the uh, the Mississippi River. So everything is to the west of the Mississippi River is the Pacific region, and uh, yeah, so that's that's cool. a big 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 region. <laughs> That's a big, bad, big ass Pacific, man. But an ace is the only player who's on the other side of the Pacific, of course, uh, right. down in New Zealand. So yeah. that's, uh, but yeah, uh, that's the the most we can do. Yeah, dude. So that's, uh... just at, at a glance, there. Um, obviously, we're all going to tend, I guess, favor our own regions. Uh, uh, Saku, what, what's your uh, what's your thoughts? Uh, what, what do you think is the strongest region of? Northeast, of course. Get the weather. Uh, get the easy weather. Pick, easy pick. You know, we're we're battle hardened. That's what it is. Snow snowstorms. You know, hurricanes. We, we got them. We're good. And not right now. No, I know. But September. That, that global warming. Eventually. Yeah. So, uh, Icon, I have a feeling you're gonna say Pacific region. I e even if I was in the Great Lakes region, like objectively, Pacific is just stacked. Like it's actually insane how many like one seeds they got into one region um yeah it's it's kind of nutty I, I i would probably go with pacific just from an objectivity standpoint Mako, do you want to make the case for the great lakes region no i don't think you can really make a case for any of them i mean if you if you actually like look at it from a, a realistic standpoint each region has about two one seed players with the exception of the pacific having i think maybe three but I, I mean, I think it, I think you could, you could possibly make a team out of like 
the ten players you have mm. here if you split them up into five, like on each region. Because I mean, like if you, I mean, you just like take it, like take a step back and you just look at them. Like each each region has like their really strong players, the really strong one seeds, and they each region has like their 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 bottom five seed players as well. So I I don't know. I think it's kind of hard to just immediately say one's better than the other. I mean, we we saw how like BBYC ended up by just looking at it from paper. So yeah. I mean, we'll we'll see. We'll see. I I I think Pacific just at a glance looks looks strong, but I I think if you just look at it that way, you need to like also look at the other ones who also have these strong players who are strong in their seeds at the ones, but also strong in the middle seeds. Because there's some players on here who are low-ish when it comes to PR and THL, but could still compete with a lot of the two and three seeds that you have in these teams. So I don't know. I think it's really, really tough to just immediately say this one's better than the other one. Yeah, I mean, not only that, it's it's definitely a good point. Not only that, but you know, all these uh, these players are going to be randomized. So there's not, it's not like five seeds will necessarily be playing what would be a typical five seed. Like we might see somebody end up with what might be considered like a, a lopsided matchup. But it's Hearthstone. It's a new meta. Anything can happen. It's also open lists. It's a new format. There's so many more factors I think than just our normal THL seasons that uh, that I think pretty much anybody could make a Cinderella run. And, uh, and get out of the group phase into the knockout phase. Yeah, Why is I mean, Boozasaurus I, I think, never all cap? Because no one wants you here, Booze. Um, <laughs> I love you, Boozasaurus. I think I, I really think you could you could find someone in each region that equally competes with someone from each respective region. Like I think you could equally even out every single region if you if you tried. Some of them might be a little more difficult, but I don't think any of these really just towers over the other one. With the exception of the Atlantic. The Atlantic has booze, so it's already awful. But the other three, they're pretty good. Oof. <laughs> right. Calling the shots um, already. That's, yeah, I mean, booze is, booze is getting uh, called out. We haven't even played a match yet. So uh, do we, anything else we want to say about the, uh, the regions before we move uh, if you don't wear your uh, region's color on stream and then try to start gang fights with the other regions, you're not doing it right. That's we we talked we talked about THL gangs yeah. already. Yeah, so northeast that is orange. It's kind of like a yellowish orange, but it's orange. If I catch any of you motherfuckers wearing purple on stream, oh man, ouch! You're out of the gang. <laughs> <laughs> you watch your back. <laughs> Only Great Lakes wear purple. <sighs> Uh, dude. All right. So we let's uh, we're gonna talk about um, you know we're obviously gonna spin the wheel live here for the groups and everything will just go group A, group B. So the way that whole process is gonna go is we're gonna spin everybody in one region into you know each uh, individual group and then we'll fill the second slot in that uh, that each group with someone from another region so essentially there will be one member of the northeast one member of the atlantic one member of the great lakes and one member of the pacific in each of the four groups uh but before we get to that we uh want to talk about their prizes and uh, the prizes are all based on contributions from your fellow thl members this is all uh you know of course uh, just completely uh volunteer basis nothing was required and there's no entry fee so i do want to i do want to shout out uh, everybody who did contribute uh, myself, of course, but Quaz, Bill Snyder, Icon, Saku, uh, Lefty, and Anfall, uh, and Itachi as well. Everybody, uh, everybody got uh, contributed a little bit to the uh, overall prize pool to allow us to offer some sweet pack prizes to the winners, uh, not only from the entire tournament but also from the regions themselves. So, this is the prize structure uh, that we are looking at for this uh, for this tournament here. Correct. So first place is going to win 30 packs. Second place is going to win 22 packs. Third and fourth will each get seven packs. If you are in a region that has the most wins, most most match wins, not necessarily individual game wins, just being a member of that region will get you two packs. And then we are going to go ahead and raffle off seven packs to three other players. And the raffle is going to be based on stream appearances and stream uh, uh, 
volunteering. So as you mentioned, this is supposed to be a content event. We want to get as much of this on stream as possible. So everybody who signs up to play on stream at any point will be given a raffle ticket. If you end up playing on stream, you will get another raffle ticket. And if you win on stream, you'll get a third raffle ticket. So you can earn many, many raffle tickets to the uh, the additional seven bonus packs uh, that three people will end up I want you to be on stream every match. That's what we want to see, Booze. Uh, and, and in order to do that, I have made a form, which I'm now going to uh, post in uh, in chat here. Let me get the link real quick for you guys. That's the one graphic I didn't bring up there, Dante. That's uh, fine. This is going to chat. We can pin it in the World Cup uh, channel as well. Yeah, cool. we definitely will. Yep, absolutely. So that is the uh, the link to sign up. So when you know uh, when, you're, when you're playing, all you do is just put your name, your opponent's name, and what day and time you're playing. We have a separate uh, form that we have uh, set up for the ops and the casters. So we'll know who is opting and casting each day, and we'll just try to, you know, set up as many matches on any given day as possible. We'll try to reach out and contact everybody who we intend to put on stream. But we could also, you know, uh, just kind of be bouncing around randomly too. So if we're, we've got a match at 8 o'clock, that match ends, somebody else starts, you know, we'll just try to jump into as many matches as possible. So just have Spectate on, and uh, we'll give you a shout-out that we're going to be joining your game, and then we'll try to, you know, we'll just try to spec. So uh, it, that being said, too, if you have not responded in the content Discord and you want to op or cast, please also let me know because I'll get you in on that, too. Uh, so that should be uh, that should be fun. So, yeah, we're going to try to get as many matches on, uh, on stream as humanly possible here. Yeah, it's going to be pretty good. Can't wait for it. Exciting. So prizes, that was the big thing. I'm excited. Uh, we, yeah, we ended up, you know, with, with $150 in contribution, which is amazing. So that's just, that's so cool. I love this community so much. That's, that's, that's straight over everybody's pocketbooks, man. It's great. Great to see. All right. So the moment that everyone has been waiting for now, where do, do you want to post if we want to cast, if you want to cast, uh, just shoot me a DM. And uh, I will get you invited to the content server, and then everything is coordinated. So find me on Discord and let me know. And uh, if, even if you've never casted before or anything, we're happy to you know give people their you know their first time experience doing it uh, during this tournament. So yeah, Saku, do you have the wheel ready? I have the wheel ready, but I was wondering if you wanted to go over the class lineups first before we start, or do you want oh. to do that after? Do you, I think uh, we do it after, because okay. then you can let's do it like, actually look at... Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, let's do it after, and then we can talk about it in context of the groups. Because right now, none of us have any idea where anybody's going to land in groups. So we have no idea who your opponents yes. are going to be uh, in this first 10-day period. Uh, actually, you know, while you're getting, the, while you're getting the, uh, the wheel set up, I will just reiterate. So the first phase, the group phase here, you're going to play three matches, and you have 10 days to get, this, uh, to get those three matches in. So from 8.18 starting tomorrow to 8.27... Um, you can just go ahead and schedule as your time allows, obviously, just like you would for THL. There's no harder and fast rules in terms of, uh, you know, email versus Discord. Just get the matches uh, set up, get the matches played, and uh, that's that's all we're going for here. So the uh, if, if you have any questions about how to do the shield or do the uh, um, do the ban, we'll, we'll go over that a little bit later, too. But I just wanted to kind of give a little bit of basic information at the outset. So is there any Mm -hmm. I don't know if anybody's got any questions about that or anything that they wanted to add. It. Nope. 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 Okay. All right. So let me get this set up here in a quick sec. All right. So I now see that you have the your fingers for as many Pang Gang members in your group as you possibly can, right? Because they're going to go out in the first round. <laughs> no, no, no. We're all, we're all going to come in second. We're all going to come in second, which oh. means we'll get out of the group. There you go. Uh, do right. top two make it out of groups, or is it a uh, top one? Yes, top two make it out of the groups. Yep. Okay. All right, so I'm going to transition right now. So now we got the northeast region going on. So we got group A, group B, group C. I got the wheel going. Can you guys see the wheel? Uh, I see it, yes. Okay. So wait, aren't there all... four groups? Oh, wait, no, no, never mind. I'm, I'm dumb. Never there, mind. Never there mind. are ten there's groups. Ten, there's ten groups. I'm dumb. Continue. There's 10 groups. All right. So each each player that we're doing is going into each perspective group, correct? 
Yep, so you'll spin the wheel here, and whoever is the first one will be our Group A Northeast player. Whoever's second, obviously, Group B, etc., until we fill up Correct. all the groups with the first. All right, just give me one sec. All right, wheel is spinning, and I'll let you guys read it since I'll see it first. laughing and i haven't even seen it it's yeah, we can't see anything <laughs> oh yeah i yeah, see yeah. i see why he's la i knew i knew when he started laughing it had to have been saku first um stream says that you're a little quiet saku as well okay cool so saku is first group a group a saku i mean right now that doesn't that doesn't particularly matter for anything since we don't know who else is going to be in the group it is just funny that he ended up being first <laughs> That's rigged right. all right give me a sec here all right, pressing the wheel right now. There he is. Blue sombrero. Blue for oh, B nice. for blue. Easy. That's a scary group already. Just a one man group. <clears throat> Okay, you guys ready for the next one? I don't one? have to play in that group. Wasn't Blue at 18 Legend the other day? He said something like, oh, I was like playing this at rank uh, 18. Yeah. And then like somebody 18. was... Oh my god, dude. I, dude, I he grinds hard. God damn. Let me, let me check. Yeah, that was me and, that was me and Blue. Blue. Yeah. I said rank 18. Oh, yeah, he got the, he got the rank 7. Uh, Dang, dude. He was, it was at 5.40 a.m. Oh my god. <laughs> hard grinder. All right, spinning the wheel now. Yeah, you you can just keep going there, uh, Saku, and we'll yeah, uh, we'll catch up. When we our see graphic it. is yeah, we're slower than you. Yeah, are. Yeah, we're really delayed, so just keep rolling. It's your boy. Oh, nice. Figures he's in Greece, boost. He dude, that kid has like the coolest life of like anybody that I've ever met, man. I swear. <laughs> Just like travels around, do like acts in like movies and shit. He's crazy. There you go. What? Snow. He's an actor. He's he's kind of an actor. He's like a, he's he's like kind of an actor. I like hype him up more than he actually is, but like he's pretty. It's nice being loaded exactly, booze. That's exactly what it is, dude. I swear. <laughs> so, so like I'm kind of a broadcaster because I appear on stream every once. Dude, no, he had like a reading. He had like a table reading. Or yeah. Some sort of reading yeah. 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 yeah, him, MMI, and Scritch together are just, just like, loaded, dude, actually. Lotus Knight is a D, by the way. That's kind of cool. Oh, shit. Okay. D. Yeah, but, by the way, we, we skipped over the fact that I landed in Group C, but, uh, hey. Yeah. All right, so I, I did this whole thing wrong. <laughs> okay. Wait, what? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. So oh God. The, the way I was doing it, the way I was thinking, sorry for everybody here, I thought it was like we were doing the, the draws for the names and they're all going into group A, group B, C. Then we go into each region, which is also group A, a B, C. Oh, I'm, I see what you mean. Like you, you only did A, B, and C and not like, yeah. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Oh, yeah, right. no, this, yeah. This, so, so Lotus is group D, basically, is what. Right. Okay. All right, give me a sec to, to fix this. Oh, okay. I mean, if uh -oh. you can do it on the fly, that's sick. Yeah, it's up to you. I mean, based stream up, my based, gosh. Yeah. I trust I trust Saku to do things op wise, like you know, way way more so than. While we're waiting, uh, in the you know, Saku's fixing stuff on the the back. Cause uh, there was a little miscommunication here. Uh, just yeah, just to go over uh, so, you know, some of the other the other basic rules here. So the, the spreadsheet that you guys used uh, that's pinned in Discord that allowed you to click the link to sign up uh, with your deck list is also where you'll go to uh, do your bands and do your shield. So unlike THL, where you have to take a screenshot with the bubble uh, and, and then converse uh, via email or Discord with the pictures there, it's not going to be the same way. So we're basically using like a modified uh, spreadsheet from the uh, Coin Concede uh, league that hat also runs so shout out to hat he he did a lot of work on uh, on the spreadsheet the that i just am not capable of doing in the amount of time that he is able to do it in so uh 
so yeah, so you're gonna be able to see like links on there, and that's where. So you can you can set your ban and your um, and your shield much earlier than even playing. So like if you know you're playing someone on Thursday, and it's, it, it, it is a different league. It's a league. They're a league. We're we're a series. They're a league. Let's see. We can say that. But you can still take a shot if you want, Ted. Um, so the uh, you can, if you're playing someone on Thursday and on Tuesday you know what you're shielding. Like, you can go ahead and throw your shield in right away, so that way your opponent can see it, and then you guys can do the ban after that. So you don't have to do it, like, right at the moment that you're about to play. Uh, you can do it at your own convenience. So that's a, a little bit of a different uh, different wrinkle. And, you know, this being a new format, we are kind of testing out the waters to see exactly how we're going to need to do the ban phase, the shield phase, because this is the expected uh, pro format for the upcoming season. So this is a nice little uh, first test run. Uh while we're waiting here, you guys have any anything else you want to add? Any any questions? Chat have any questions while we're while we're getting this going? Um, I'm wondering right now if there's an advantage to like not um, revealing your ban until later. I don't know. I definitely wouldn't reveal it until after your shield. Right. Especially considering you don't know what the opponent will shield, and then it won't be allowed to be banned anyway. Yeah. Um, he wants people to repeat uh, where you do the ban on the shield. Oh, let me, yeah, let me get the link for that. Um, so essentially, Brushy Duna, from what I understand, it's run through a spreadsheet, and uh, you can click some uh, links to like submit your shield and your ban into this form. That's basically, how I understand it right now. Correct me if I'm wrong, though, Donda. You are correct. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. So that first link is the form for shield. So if you click on that. You will see that it has a uh, you know, spot for your email address, of course, and then you just choose yourself from the drop down, choose your opponent, and then pick whoever, you, whatever you're shielding. Uh, so once you do that, if you go to this other link I'm going to send you, oh, uh, Jug got rolled into something yep. else. Sorry, guys. Oh, there we go. Hey, look at that. Hey, Jugger Laws Group E. Right. Um, so the uh, the second link is the ban page. So same thing as a shield. Uh, Tris, you do the shield per person. So you will not have to shield or ban, obviously, the same class every single match. So even in the group phase, throughout your three matches, if you want to shield a different class, you're certainly allowed. So next, I think, is Group, group F. F. Yep. Just going to spin that right now. Sorry for everybody. All the viewers out there, I'm being quiet. That's fine. This this part, this first, uh, it, this is just really a formality since, uh, you know, all 10 of us, we're going to end up in 10 different groups. So the real fun will start to be when we start to see who gets paired in with us uh, anyway. So I think right now we can continue to answer questions while we're just getting the uh, first ones here kind of sort. Hmm. Okay. Almost for, yeah, ready for G. Looks like he's going in group F. Rolling in a... How far in advance do you need to submit the shield to Ben? You can uh, submit it uh, any any time that uh, like before you play your match. So if you wanted to yep. get it over with immediately, you could uh, like as as soon as the 18th hits at what is it like midnight Pacific tonight, or 12:01 tonight uh, Pacific time, you could submit your shield and ban, or you could do it um, five minutes before the match. I probably wouldn't advise doing that, but you could do it. So that's right. any anywhere between those two periods, you know, just depends on what time you scheduled your match with your opponent. Yeah, like since everything is full open list, there's literally no drawback. You're going to know exactly what you, your opponent's playing the second you find out who's in your group. So you can make your, uh, you know, if you want to go through tonight and say, I'm shielding this and this match, this and that match, and you know exactly what you're planning on doing, uh, then yeah, then that's uh, that's totally fine. Uh, Blue Spartan's right. We could have just assigned the first region in order. There's really no uh, drawback to doing that, I suppose. But, you know, we've come to... Math professor letting us know what's up. <laughs> I actually thought about that afterwards, and I was like, huh, that really, since it doesn't matter, it could have just been, like, that's it's a formality, but... Yeah. I, uh, I, I've been under this, the impression this entire time, until I just now saw this, that we were playing against our own region. 
<laughs> I don't know if I misheard or misread or what. That 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 was my interpretation too. So it's it's all good. Yeah. So. There was there was definitely some uh, some confusion there. I I guess like in my mind, I assumed that people knew the World Cup format a little better than I guess ever. Like the food football World well, Cup. You need to remember that Americans don't watch soccer. Bro, I watch all the soccer. Who yeah, I watch it? like British football, like the premier league so. oh yeah i'm, a, I'm right a chelsea fan you oh oh dude i yeah i, I got a rip from manchester get, man we're about to get shelled this year it's all good yeah all right all right you guys ready for the next one yes keep rolling okay this is for g group g <laughs> step into a shim jam All right. All right. Cool. Tris, is is that a genuine question that you do not know where the World Cup is? I'm just kidding. No, he's no, he's just me. He's just drawing. No. Okay. Yeah. Get do an H. Uh, we did see the end fall was in Group F. Uh, thank you, Booze, for making sure we do stay at least on topic a little bit. Um, Sir, uh, Sir Lewis, yes, the 10 days starts at midnight tonight, uh, so you can you know start scheduling your matches uh, immediately if you want to, and then you have 10 days to play them. So uh, you know, you've got tomorrow plus the entire week, and then next weekend, and then the beginning of the week after that. So hopefully that should be enough time for everybody to get their matches in. Uh, you know, I would like to see one match played at midnight tonight. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to front. I'd be I'd be down to cast that. I honest if, if anyone does their match tonight, I will cast it. I'm okay. okay. You're tired, yeah, dude. dude. Come on. Sounds huh? good. <laughs> if, if, don't <laughs> if you want 3 a.m. Eastern. Uh, oh wait, is it Pacific? Midnight I mean, Pacific, dude. Yeah. I mean, honestly, like the second this stream ends, like, like I'm saying that technically it starts tomorrow, but honestly, the second this stream ends, if people want to roll, like, you can go whenever. That's All right. Fair. So, so are are you saying that the start date is actually technically the 17th after the stream finishes? Yeah, but I'm gonna give. Uh, we'll we'll say it's like 10 plus. We'll call it 10 plus day. Okay. Gotcha. Boo cool. said he's down. <laughs> now, they, if you want to cast a match right after this, Booze is down. And he's got to have an opponent with them. I hope Booze is playing Shadow Ranger because they both are like ready to go. It looks like. <laughs> All right, so this is gonna be for Group I. Yeah, you just keep going, Saki. You keep hitting the button as many times as you need to. We'll keep getting the. Uh, we'll keep. We'll keep the conversation. Yeah. Yeah, Saki, you just slap that button until we got all of them down. Maddie. Navi Ute has offered to play Booze tonight. Booze, Booze wants an opponent for tonight, and I will cast it with Donde and whoever tonight. But someone needs to play Booze. We need to kick this thing off right. And I yeah, said, like, incredible. That's like the opening too. ceremony. Like I has had a lot of deja vu. This conversation we had, and like this, the the thing on screen and stuff. I'm tripping out right now. Get my uh, my favorite thing is that we were talking about how tired you were coming into the stream and you're just like what cast in three hours yeah I'm... Brett, i got my <clears throat> i got my my fidget putty i got my elvis juice and i got my my hearthstone my clg boys lost so i'm in a deep oh damn right i was now, watching that but... earlier oh, yeah so God, i'm dude. a little sad as i sit in my clg chair i took my clg jersey off hashtag so... clg lose <laughs> we don't talk about it anymore Dude, don't uh, laugh at Elvis juice. Elvis juice is delicious. I, w I really want to be in Group J now that Kel's in that one. I would like... Are you just going to ban Priest, or is he going to shield Priest every match? He can shield Priest He's every match, shielded. but he'll lose. Spoiler alert, Kel is bringing Priest. Yeah. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Go Wait. figure. I want to be in the Highlander Hunter or Highlander uh, Warrior group. I was, I was gonna oh, say yeah. Highlander but, Hunter means no, you're no, no, in, no. you're just you're just playing. Everyone's I, bringing. I Highlander. want to be in the Highlander Warrior group. Triss is calling Group I right now. He wants Group I. Okay. He wants Group I. Okay. 
So what I'm going to do from from this point yeah. forward, just keep things rolling. I'm going to put the the letter beside the player. Um, cool. From this point forward, so it's easier. Yeah, whatever is easiest for you. And uh, I've got my separate spreadsheet, so I'll uh, go ahead and post that afterward. Cool. So transitioning to Atlantic, and I get all the names for that. So I'm spinning right now. Let's do it. This is where it gets fun. Now we start to see who's actually going to start playing each other. Group A. Super Murloc. Saku and Super, Super Murloc. Interesting. All right. So Group B is going to be with Blue Sombrero. Bill Snyder wants Group C. He wants to be with me. Interesting. Booze. Oh, dude, booze, you're playing blue. Oh, my God, dude. Group B is all... It's, it's got to be all players with a, a B. Starting it's going to be, be, it's be all a BBYC. I yeah. want Group B. Please. Yeah, dude, <laughs> get in with all your old teammates, yeah. Ozma is going to be in my group groups. I like the pace we're chugging along with now. This is good. Yeah, there we go. We're rolling. There we go. Sir Los with a capital L is with Lotus Knight in group D. Oh. I feel like they played on the stubs or something together. Myanadon. Uh, Myanadon is going to be Group B with JR Jugger Law. Ooh, okay. That's a strong start to that group. Yeah, that's spicy. Well, Booze, that means we definitely want to see it on stream. Oh, wait, can we get Blue versus Booze tonight? Maybe not Ooh. if he's in Greece. It's probably like 3 in the morning. Uh, Blue Spartan is in with Anton. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is he up? He's not up. I don't think. Yeah, he's offline. C Mac. C Mac. We'll find someone else for you, Blue or Booze. C Mac's still up in Korea, but I think in Korea it's like, what? Like, who's C Mac with group wise? He's with Shim Jim in Group G. Okay. Rage Doppel will be in Group H with Cole. Hmm. Okay. And Catman in the group I with Maddie Ebbs. And then the last lucky person gets kill. That would be Lefty. Dos Uno Uno Uno. Yeah. Alright, you forget a letter there. It's all good. So just looking at the first uh, first couple couple draw. Yeah, Group E already a strong start. Jr. Juggerlaw, Mayanadon. Those are those are two very very strong players together. Uh, Shimjim and Cmac in Group G. Uh, Shimjim is uh, is already at I think max PR or very very close. So that's a that's a strong group. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hashtag keep me out of Group B, please. Yeah. The posterity spin to make sure we get lefty. A and J seem like the ways to go. Okay. Ouch. Shade right at Saku. Right <laughs> no, 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 right? no, not Saku. I just, I don't know. <laughs> That's all I, right. I'm, just, I'm, I'm not talking about, like, eight. eating Saku. I'm talking about avoiding, like, Mayan. I don't know, dude. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, so, no, it's not. It's about dodging the scary groups, not, like, picking anybody specifically. So Atlantic Who's soon. this calling you out trying to get you into, into his group, uh, Mark? I know what he wants. I mean, he wants a lot of things, but what does he want in this case? Me. The, the problem True. is that your name doesn't start with B, so you you just don't fit. You could just My put the B, does, the B though, emoji. Yeah, count? dude. My real name count is... Brandon. Oh, yeah. With the B emoji. Okay, starting the uh, Great Lakes region. All right. Give it to me. Oh, <laughs> we can't see. 
<laughs> I like the Saku chuckles when we can't see what's happening on screen. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Oh, boy. That group just got a lot <laughs> scared. Holy mother. <laughs> oh, Saku, it's okay. That's a... Wah, wah. Yeah. Saku, do, you know you can shock wow. the little buddy. Oh. So, Brushy Tuna obviously has to end up in group B. This is this is wow. how it has to get. All right, Triss is in B. Triss. Dang, Triss. Wait, oh, wait. Cool. Can we get can we get Triss versus Booze on stream tonight? That's a that's a group of death. Holy mother. Yeah, and we haven't even seen a Pacific player yet. Turn Herder sliding into groups. What's group C? Uh, that'd be me Precision? and Osmonaut. Okay. Interesting. Hey, Donde, we have a uh, we have a match after this. If you wanna you wanna cast it, Triss and Bro, Booze you, both down. You already corner. know I am. All right. Um, Let's Chronic's in going. D, right? With, Chronic um, is in D with Lotus Knight. Sir Lotus and Lotus Knight, yeah. Hey, you guys' stream's going faster than mine, too. It's at Midwest Wi Fi. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Alright, Navi Ute is in. Um, what is that? F? Okay. Uh, that's E. With e. Uh, JR and Myanodon. Oof. Okay, Brushy Tuna is in actual F with and fall and blue Spartan. Okay. Who is that? Oh, Mako. Mako with Shim Jim and C Mac. Ooh, all right. <laughs> That'll be interesting. Hey, you know what? I was a pro one C for like five minutes. Yeah, no, I true though, this. actually. Like big so sucks. I wasn't going to bring so Dark Side is in group H and I didn't want to bring this up because it's not technically public info. <laughs> but mm. we, our new 5C with SPG is Rage Doppel, so literally group H is everybody at SPG except for me. Oh nice. Holes in that one too. Yeah, okay, I mean, at, at, le at least this way one of you can win. <laughs> <laughs> one of, one yeah, at least statistically one out. somebody <laughs> has to come out of the group, yeah. yeah. Shadow Ranger is in group I. Oh and then Oh, st oh, Snake, my my boy Snake. He's a uh, he's got interesting group going on there. Snake, Kel, and Lefty in Group J so far. <laughs> I'm still thinking about Avi in A. It's like I, yeah, it's that scary, bro. Fuck it, let's just. All right, go. it's time for Pacific. <laughs> yeah, Pacific things. So where things right. are gonna get interesting. Oh, hey. Dante, when we roll a division, can you like read out who's in it, or like a group rather? Yes, thank you. I love you. We have no time to waste. We have a match tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Booze has got a match to prep for. He, he already asked where the deck list are posted. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, dude, dude is like, he's ready to turn off the stream and go start prepping right now. Brushy2 and I have never related to a sentence in Twitch chat more. I am in group F just like my high school grades. <laughs> Too real. Here. Uh, waiting for this one. The you, whole time. you asked if we can see the group so far. Um, I am going to post in chat the entirety of the group here as we get the uh, the final player into them. So it'll be in chat uh, as well as us talking about. It. Okay. All right. You guys ready for Pacific? Yes, I'm waiting with bated breath, dude. Let's e do it. Everybody's an A in Pacific, so it's good. Okay. Monka S flying through the chat. Alright, Rain's an A. Cool. Oh, now we're on the same uh, same time here. Oh, he's posting it in chat. Nice. All right, I'm in B. All right, nice. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude! Oh, we could have had you and Booze tonight. That would have been fun. <laughs> oh, oh boy! Holy mother, dude! Jeez, bro! This is gonna be a time. Oh my God! 
dude, Boost. Oh my god, I would love. I would love to play you, dude. Let's go. Boost wants to do the back to back. I'm down to cast the back to back if Dunday's down to cast it. Oh my god. Are we gonna have? Will we? Ha are we gonna have an audience for this though? I I don't. I feel like no. I stream sometimes at like midnight and nobody watches because it's just too late for all the Eastern people. I think I think we'll have an audience. Uh, <laughs> Booze is gonna play all three of his matches in one night. <laughs> he says Blue will be awake by the end of the second match. <laughs> but but okay, you got to remember too. If we're trying to get a, a a ton of matches streamed, you know, they're not always gonna be at eight o'clock, right? Not always. Yeah. So so we we can do some obscure obscure opening ceremony match streams head content board leader true fuel versus quas which one do you want oh god this group dude oh i get so a should be eight a h i should say and Trying to remember who was Itachi should be G, right? Right. It Itachi is G. Yep, and Ace is H. Ooh, oh wow, group holy group G, dude. Sorry, I am just typing. Mako, Mako you fell into like the same sort of thing as me, dude. You got Shim Jim, C Mac, yeah. and Itachi. Okay, last two. If Quas ends up in J, I'm. Oh. All right, no, he's in. Okay, he's in the. Uh... I. Interesting. And then yeah. he fuels in group J. Yeah, we just gotta wait for the 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 wheel wow. to stop. Uh, group J ended up being stronger than I expected. That's pretty serious. Snake fuel lefty. Okay. That's pretty interesting. So. Okay, we're all done. Dude, Donda, you know what we should do? We should make um Discord rolls for um region. Oh, oh, we we definitely are. Make them pingable, yeah. Nice. So there is a that's a summary down there at the bottom that link I just posted and I posted it in Discord. That is every group in order. Uh, th that's that's it. That's everything right there. So it's now, it. yeah, we we got. He's Booz wants to wait to see the list. So uh, it was brought up. The lists are going to be public, and I'm going to post that. Uh, there's a you know a link to the uh, spreadsheet that will have it. So yeah, we will uh, we will gladly go ahead and uh, and give you that info. Yeah. Well. That's okay. Um, if you click on the link that I posted there uh, in chat, then you will see the the list. It's a little low tech. I just did it in Excel real quick, but but you'll you'll get. It. So uh, let's let's talk. Uh, let's go group by group. Saku, Super Murloc, obviously, in Rain in group. Saku, uh, what do you think's gonna happen, man? Do you, you getting out of this? Well, I think um, I think obviously is gonna have to. Uh... To, to basically, you know, train a little bit harder than uh, doing soul. Oh, no so. doubt. <laughs> yeah. Instead of qualifying yeah. Oh, yeah. for all three Masters yeah. tours, he's going to yeah. have to qualify no. for a fourth. Tour. That's right. No big deal. Uh, it's going to be a super yeah, challenge absolutely. for me, for sure. Um, yeah. Not much else to say. I think that's the uh, strongest think, uh, dude coming out of that group. So. I mean, I mean, I'll be like, he's... He's an insane player, and I think to even think that he would not likely have made it out of any group that he was in, like he had to be considered a favorite no matter what group he ended up in. So I think that's uh, that, that's probably a safe bet. Uh, and then I, I kind of I think Super Murloc is actually maybe maybe a possible shocker in this. Yeah, I don't disagree. He's been steadily getting stronger as uh, as the season was going on last uh, last season. Plus, 
He just recently hit uh, legend, so that's that's putting in time, putting in effort. So would you call him the potential dark horse of this this group? That would be me. I, I would say Saka <laughs> is the dark horse of the group. I am the darkest of like, the dark horses I'm thinking, here. I'm thinking like, and no offense, Saku. I'm thinking like, if you look at this region, you go, oh, Avi and Rain are gonna make it out just by looking at it from a glance. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking like, who, who, which of these other two has the better chance to make it out over Avi and Rain? And again, no offense, Saku, but it's a lot of tough competition. Oh, right it is. There. Yeah. Looking at that, I'm just like, as soon as his name came up, it's like, just started giggling, as you guys heard anyway. <laughs> it's like, uh, <laughs> all right, whatever. <laughs> uh, before, Actually, before we go any further in the groups, do we want to talk about the class distribution? Because uh, I know that was something that you did have uh, have, have as a, a graphic there, right? Yep. Yeah, we can talk about it. Let me know when you got right. it pulled up. Yeah, I was just trying to fix the northeast uh, northeast to match up with the rest of the ones, but Dunde, do you have the um uh, the uh, list link ready to go? I uh, I'm working on it right this second, so okay. I will have that in just a moment. Okay, so we want to go with the class lineups right now. Yeah. Okay, and our class lineups will be. Here's what everybody's picked. I hope you like Warrior. <clears throat> oh, I do. I very much do. There is... You guys see the graphic up there now? Yes. Yep. So w Warrior, the easy most picked uh, class at 37, which 23 of them are control warriors uh, of some capacity. And then Mage behind that at 32 uh, with Highlander. Not quite as overwhelming uh, a pick, but 18 of those uh, decks will be 18. Uh, or be, uh, be Highlander Mage, rather. And then Hunter, also a Highlander favored pick. 25 mm -hmm. of the 30 Hunters are going to be uh, <laughs> going to be high. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> who, uh, uh, Bill who Snyder brought, brought Mally Druid. Yep, Bill you, Snyder you, brought Mally Druid, and then Fuel and I brought Quest Druid. Yeah, the boy you're talking to right in the chat right now is, is your best friend, so so definitely squat. <laughs> uh, three three warlocks, un unfortunately. Three, that's all. But hey, you know, I guess in a way, it's kind of cool to see all nine classes represented in some capacity. So three yeah. warlocks. It's okay to give free wins. Like, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> the, uh, the, the warlock bringers are going to be uh, Rage Doppel, Snake, and Super... Nope. Okay. Dropped Quest Valley for Warrior. I, uh, I I'll be honest. I didn't even have a mage in my lineup until like literally. Yeah. Hmm. It was a last second uh, change for me. So. I feel like I should be a first second. Yeah. You know, uh, I wasn't I wasn't feeling it at first, and I changed my mind. So you know, uh, you know a big big thing too. Look look at that priest distribution. Yeah. One. That, I, I know exactly who that quest wall is too. That's your boy Dude. Turret Herder. That sure is. <laughs> he brought Quest Wall Priest, and then everyone else is literally almost the exact same combo priest deck. I want to know who brought that Thief Rogue, and if that Thief Rogue has a ton of Thief cards, or if it's just like five or six. It's, it's Sir Los. He brought the Thief Rogue. Uh, you know, he's he, he went full on with the Test Gray main. Yes. I I'm I'm more dis. You know what? I'll tell you what I'm disappointed in. I'm disappointed in the two people who brought Mech Hunter, the the three people who brought Conjurers and Cyclone Mage, and the one person who brought Murloc Shaman, because they're boring and they don't like new things, and they make this <laughs> boring to watch. You heard it first. And I really hope. Not pulling any punches. And I oh oh Tris brought Cyclo Mage and he's the first match we're streaming. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making this interesting. I really hope that Holy Wrath Paladin is the um. There's a uh, Highlander Holy Wrath Paladin that looks really fun. So I'm kind of hoping that that's what that is. I hope y'all like Quest Druid and Quest Paladin because I have both uh, of it, them. I it like is a Highlander. It is a Highlander yes. variant, I believe. Oh that, yeah. That, All right. That's awesome. 
No, you're the hi- you're the Highlander warrior because he he's like, what do I call this? <laughs> yeah, there was there was one warrior that of... I, I discussed it with everybody today, and I was just like, uh, this doesn't it's not, there's no bomb, so it's not a bomb warrior. It's not aggressive enough to be an aggro warrior, but it's like not really a control, and it was like Highlander, but still had multiple duplicates. I think I wasn't you, really I think sure how to classify it. Question mark after the Highlander, so like Highlander, and then one, because it's like. I, there's like five of the cards in the deck that have duplicates of them, and then the rest of them are singletons. <laughs> so it's kind of like, all right, I'm gonna play a normal control, and then about halfway through the game, I'll have Zephyrus, kind of warrior. <laughs> yeah, it's called Zephyrus warrior. That's not that's not wrong. And Booz did point out there is one more one mage that we that we have listed as just Conjurer because it is like literally the Conjurer list from last last like expansion. The, oh my goodness. Yeah, like the like the big dragon version mm-hmm. with Cadgar, I think it yeah. had, and you know, two conjurers. Uh, Luna's so it's, obviously, it's the conjurers mage from before Cyclone, basically, like that. Yeah, one. yeah, like the the initial dragon mage. Yeah. Of, yeah, yeah, dragon mage. So who who brought this? Someone who hasn't yes, played Hearthstone about four months. Maybe a free to play who doesn't have uh, a lot of the Possibly. new cards. Yep. Uh, I can actually I'll look that up and I can tell you who. Who are you? I'm looking. Uh, uh, Ozma. Yeah. Ozma, not. Okay. Oh. I actually, mean, it, like, no, that's like, actually true. Did he just? Did, was he not? He, did he just come back? Yeah, yeah, he was gone. He did. Yeah. There really was somebody he, who hasn't played Hearthstone in a while. <laughs> he said he didn't have a lot of the cards yet, and yeah. like, like, let's be honest. I mean, like, the Condor Mage works. It's a good deck. It does. And there's a reason why not a whole lot of it needed to change over like the last half of the expansion is just because it was a song and it can high roll the crap off you if it really mm-hmm. gets going yeah so i wonder if he also brought some of the other older decks we see here like the mech hunter or, or seeker hunter well i'm about to post like this oil. link here so yeah i wonder i wonder if that's what happened you know and being gone for a while you kind of like you're kind of limited so you, you're kind of pigeonholed into bring in some older stuff or just less new things yeah, and, there you and, go, booze. Booze. We need booze, and we need Triss on this Google Doc sheet immediately, getting ready for the match. Oh, there's. there's I, just, there's... I just watched so many people pop into this. Sheet. Jokes on you! I already have my own copy of the sheet. Oh fuck! So you'll see three tabs at the bottom. You'll see the class distribution, which is what we're talking about, obviously, right here. You'll see groups, which is the groups. And then you will see deck lists on the third. Oh, here's the actual deck list. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, booze. They're on the third tab. There. So you can go ahead and navigate over there. Everything is sorted uh, by alphabetical alphabetic order, and then just find uh, you know who you're playing. You can see the classes that they're playing at a quick glance, and then you can just click on the deck code. It'll... Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Osmanot brought um, four older decks, which I mean, you can still definitely. Oh, yeah, there's, yeah. It's just very, it's very interesting. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be very interesting seeing how four previous expansion decks compare to four current expansion decks. Hmm. So now that we've uh, discussed the class distribution, we've got everyone uh, pouring over the deck list and probably not listening to us anymore because they're too busy uh, looking at their opponents. Now we can go back and talk about the group. Yeah. So we talked about Group A. Let's talk about Group B. That's Blue Sombrero, Blue Zosaurus, Triss, and Icon. Icon, it's only fitting if you tell us what you think's going to happen. Uh, yeah. Do you want me to do it? Okay. Um, I don't know, dude. Um, this, this is a really strong group, obviously. Like, this, this is... Yeah, this is definitely one of the strongest groups um, in the whole thing. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm looking forward to playing everybody in this group. I think that this is... This is a very, 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 very close group. I think much closer than some people would think. It's kind of um, looks looks to be really competitive. So I'm excited. I don't know. I, I, I think it's it's too soon to tell. But I, I B, are you talking about B? Yeah, B. I think anybody in that group can make it out. Yeah, because um, I would see. Are we actually playing after? No, I gotta sleep, booze. I I have to go. I have my classes start tomorrow for me, so I gotta do that. Um, I'll take. Yeah. Um. So it's online school. Um, 
so the whole thing with um group b is like yeah it looks like at first glance that i'm just gonna get wrecked but i <laughs> i like i i made a decent like field for the decks that i brought like um i brought decks that like tend to do well against warrior and everybody brought warrior in my group so i'm happy with how it turned out you know because there are there are a couple specific players that i need to miss in order to like have any chance like itachi for example um didn't bring we bring warrior if i run into the, any of the skip warrior people then they i just can't really beat them anyway so it's uh i don't know not too worried about b yeah i think uh the go against uh you know pick like classes that work against warrior was a solid idea because obviously we saw 37 people brought warrior but there are aggro warriors out there which is something that you could not really say last expansion you know you knew you were going to get some sort of control-ish warrior in the capacity but now that's not yeah that's definitely uh, accurate it's good to see I, uh, yeah good, good to see no bomb warrior in there <laughs> oh the bomb warrior is still lurking lurking hey, the list creeping still. Don't, don't talk shit about my control taunt bomb warrior. Oh yeah, I, I heard about it, man. I heard about it. It has it has all the things, and it will tear you up. I swear. Yeah, the uh, Just wait. reminder of the format, as as Darkside pointed out, since it's best of three, even though you bring three classes, you don't need to win with all your classes. Uh, you know, you only need to bring you only need to win with two of them to get. Yeah, them. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We talked so about that actually a lot. Um, in our in our hero team discord for this season um how we don't really think targeting something in this is effective because it's become pretty apparent what they're targeting so you literally just don't play that class yeah. right yeah you'd you rather take the coin flips if you if you can yeah yeah i think uh it's you know, uh, we were talking about, you know, Icon, you brought up Group B, uh, how you feel like anybody can make it out of this group. I agree. I think anybody can make it out of this group. I think uh, I think Triss versus Booze might actually be, like, the turning point match, and it's going to be the first match. <laughs> I, I'm kind of interested to see how that goes, because, I mean, like, Blue Sombrero's got to be considered to be a favorite, right? I would think so. I mean, the dude is was seven. Yeah, I think so. He's <laughs> he's really, really, really good right now. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm super hyped for this first map. So we want to talk about Group C. Yeah. Let's let's look. Yeah, so that's that's me, Ozma, Turd Herder, and Typhoon. Typhoon is a rematch for for uh, the semifinals of mm. uh, Legacy this past. You you and Typhoon get out, I think. Um, I mean, Ozma is obviously playing the older decks, but I don't think the older decks are bad. And Ozma is a solid player, so I, I got to think that he's still definitely got the potential to to get by anybody in this group. Uh, Turn Herder, based on PR, would be you know the the low man on the pole, so to speak, here. But uh, but yeah, I, I like my chances to get out of the group. I definitely feel like there's a good. Yeah, I agree. Anybody else with a contrasting opinion here? I do not disagree. All right. I can't, How about I Group can't. D? Group Lotus D. Lotus Knight and Surlos. Yeah, Lotus Knight, Knight Surlos, yep. Chronic. <laughs> uh, so nobody thinking the Chronic has a, has a solid shot? He's like a consistent all-star player in TH. Yeah. I think, okay. think Dime is going to have a rough shot, time. Shot, yes. Yeah. I think shot, shot, yes. I think it's... Uh, I think it's more in. I think it's in the same line as Osmonaut in Group mm -hmm. C. All right. E is stat. Whoa. E is I, stacked, e, actually. What the I, heck? I think it's possible Whoa. that all four of us think that E comes out a different way. Like, yeah, actually. I can see us think, all picking a different. Yeah. Yeah, I think when you look at E, you look at four players that are, like, basically the same caliber. Oh yeah, I I could see them all going like two and one, you know, like yeah. and just like rotating uh, around. Like, well, obviously yeah. they can't all go two and one, but like two and one, one and two, you know, right in the middle. Like, I don't see anybody getting swept, and I don't think anybody pulls a sweep off it. Yeah, I I think when you I think when you look at E and you like have the chance to take a step back and look at it, you you, you can't really look at like a player's like past performance and skill levels, and you literally just have to look at classes, index. Yeah, it's a bunch of. Action. Action. Here, I'm gonna make a bold prediction for this. Mayan goes 3-0. Um, T 
Ted actually sneaks in as the second one. Bill Snyder does decent. JR tilts. <laughs> my, see, my picks, uh, my picks were Mayan and, and Bill Snyder here. I think Navi Ute's going to surprise us. I, I wouldn't be surprised. If he if he makes it out of the group, I would not be surprised at all. Yeah. Bill says he sucks. <laughs> yeah, I got you Bill. Not Bill. I got Bill and done making it out of that E side. Is Mako going to be on the JR Juggerlaw train? Uh, I'm not. I'm actually on what Icon said train. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's, 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 a, that's a dangerous play to make. But yeah, Mayan and Big Ted look pretty cool. Although I think I think Bill might make it over Big Ted. Yeah, it's reasonable. But I think Mayan and Don definitely makes that through. By the way, I hope you guys know that I'm going to be taking down all of these uh, predictions. So that way, when we come back and do the uh, the show before the knockout phase, mm-hmm. that uh, we can... We can laugh all about this because I know that we're all going to be wild. This is going to be recorded for quality assurance purposes. There you oh, go. Oh, naturally. He won't do it. Okay. Don't worry. He won't do it. <laughs> so much clipping. So much clipping going on out there. Uh, group F is Anfall, Blue, Sp- Blue Spartan, Brushy Tuna, and Raw Mexico. And I think this is a sneaky. Like, there's a lot of good good names in this group, too. Oh, wow. I got, I got Ronnie and Brushy going through it. I know Blue, Blue is probably going to be the tight one in there. Is is blue really like the third in this group? Yes. Uh, I I'm kind of on the Anfall trade. Anfall's yeah. really good. Mm-hmm. He's kind of on the Ron makes it out as the one out of that group, and then Anfall comes out the two. I agree with Mako. Yeah, I think that Anfall ah. is the person to make second, and Ron is a clear first. A clear first. Jeez. Um. Man. You're not writing this down, Dante. I got. I got to make a prediction because I'm gonna. Write, I just said I'm gonna write stuff down. I can't just be like, oh well, I can anything can happen. Bippity boppity. Uh, wow. I, I guess. I guess I say Ron and Brushy. But like Anfall and Blue Spartan are both fantastic players that could easily make it out. Yeah, you're actually right. This is a very evenly matched group. Actually. It's just. It's just like group. Maybe e. other than Ron. I don't know. I think Ron's really, really good. Uh, I don't know. Seems interesting. Everyone make a prediction there before we move on to G. Yep, I think we all did. Already did. Mako, who makes it out of this group with you? Shim Jim, C Mac, and Atat? Shim Jim and C Mac. <laughs> You're just gonna skip yourself completely. I'm realistic, you know. I'm not. I'm not out here finna finna shoot some lies or anything. I'll <laughs> I'll I'll take one out, you know. I'll 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 go down swinging. I'll this is fun. a dirty group. I need to. One thing yeah, I, you know what? I, I need to look. I need to look at their deck list because I did bring my spicy taunts control bomb warrior. So if they if they're if they're rocking those Unicorn Highlander Warrior. decks, <laughs> hell no. If they're rocking those Highlander decks, I'm, I'm in for it. I think I can do this pretty well. I, I I do have a. I have been playing a lot of the Temple Rope too, and I've just been brutally destroying people on ladder with it so i think i think i might might have this in the bag possibly is is g and actually a stronger group than b i think it might and a stronger group than e i mean geez this this is a really Mm -hmm. loaded group uh b b and g i think are uh tied i think e is like almost at that but slightly below it i would say i don't know like we're looking we're sitting here saying okay shim jim c mac Mako and Itachi, two of those names are not going to be in the playoff. Mm-hmm. Like, how is that possible? Like, Itachi is like perennially like an undefeated undefeated player. In uh, he was he was undefeated. I think he was undefeated Legacy in both yeah. at Legacy and Hero. Um, didn't play full seasons, but still it doesn't matter. You know, Mako, former uh, you know rookie of the year, All Star selection. C Mac is in Korea right now, playing in the in the Masters. Uh, tournament and then Shim Jim is one of the like best new players to come into the in the THL like that's I'm 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 gonna actually predict the uh the underdog storyline. Uh, Itachi and Mako both make it up. Hey, 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 hey. that's gonna have that's, ha- that's I believe in that, yeah. And M- Mako said Shim Jim and C Mac, is that right? I did. 
I, I have say Shim Jim and Itachi. In myself. Shim Jim and Itachi, my picks. You know what's gonna you know what's gonna happen? I can tell you this right now. And you know you know what's gonna happen, don't they? Because I talked to you about this. I'm gonna I'm gonna play on stream. I'm gonna get super fucking anxious and nervous. And I'm gonna do something dumb. I'm gonna throw my leads, and then I'm gonna end up losing and look like a dumbass. That's what happens when I play on stream. <laughs> this is confession booth right here. It's not confession. It, <laughs> those are hard facts. Those are yeah. gold, gold hard you facts. Keep it a hundred. I feel you. It's... So, so Group H seems a little bit more lopsided than Group G with Coles, Rage Doppel, Dark Side. Way of putting it. <laughs> Dark, well, Dark Side <laughs> is lopsided in his favor. He's out here in chat just oh, man. being like, dude, I'm about to win Group H and like, go get it. He's getting it. Yep. Go it's get nice. it. It's nice to have dreams. So we got, I, we got go again. We got go again, going again. I'm going to go make? with the, the not so bold prediction and say that Coles comes out easy and then Ace Quartz Elementals his opponents into the two slot. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, Coles and Ace is definitely like the easy, like PR-based pick for sure. Yeah. Uh, with Rage and Darkseid being a, a five and a four seed in comparison, but yeah. I, I guess I go with Coles and Ace. Sorry, Dark. It's okay. And any way you swing it, you're picking one member of SPG, so it's okay. I mean, <laughs> but the, the thing is, the thing is, he could have easily chosen two more people from his current legacy team to go with Coles. But he chose the only person in that group that is not on his legacy team. That's that's a good way of putting it. Yeah. A, another guy who's in Korea right now, by the way, or at least was in Korea. Yeah. You're gonna have some explaining to do in the uh, Pain Gang Discord. Oh, I'm, I'm on Do Not Disturb right now, but I have a feeling <laughs> I'm going up there. So. <laughs> You're getting pinged all to hell. Yeah. <laughs> so we got I know. Uh, yeah. I <laughs> something for <laughs> something for G or J when we get there, but I so yeah, Matty Ebbs, Catman, Shadow Ranger, and Quaz. Uh, probably Shadow Ranger and Catman would be the favorites, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yep. Catman didn't play this season, did he? Yes. I don't think so. Uh, I right. think he played one series. Maybe one series, Hero. okay. I just don't Maybe remember his name see. floating around as much. That's all. Yeah. But yeah, I'd say but Cat, yeah, he's very Cat and Shadow player. Ranger. I think I think Maddie is the the dark horse in that one where I think it's possible that he he sneaks out as like the two seed. I'm going with the uh, underdog and I'm going with Maddie Ebbs and Shadow Ranger. Oh, I thought I thought you were gonna say Quaz and I was gonna no. say you're insane, dude. Never go full Quaz. Never I, go full Quaz. <laughs> I, I I'm saying I underdog underdog, not like Rudy. <laughs> oh God. Hey. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I, I can see Shadow Ranger and Maddie as being, being the case as well. But yeah, I'm going to stick with Shadow Ranger Cat. Is Quaz in there. chat? I hope Quaz is in chat. Nah, I don't think he... Uh, he said uh, no, actually. No, 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 he was. He was actually. He said he was watching it on his okay. phone. So he's, he's probably... Oh, like, yes, that's right. Yeah. He's, he's sitting there like the the angry Arthur meme right now. <laughs> like this balled up his... <laughs> the fist, yeah. <laughs> uh, Quaz will be the first to tell you that he's, like, scared. <laughs> so, so before we go to Jay, where it's Cal Lefty Snake and Fuel. Oh, I saw and it. Apparently, <laughs> apparently in chat, just posted in Discord. Cal said, "Just do me a favor, don't put me in the same group as." Yeah, twenty-four hours ago. <laughs> That's what he said. Oh too. man. Yeah, he called it a day. Fuel's gonna ride him home, man. It's gonna be crazy. Oh, this this is a fun group. This is a fun fun. Oh, yeah, it's man. fun if your names are Snake or Fuel. Yeah, I agree. I think it's fun as long as you're on the outside of this group watching everything happen. Yeah, I. Yeah, it's it's pretty I, pretty good group I, I, though. I I think that Lefty or Kel could easily. Oh, pull absolutely. Out. I I think if you just look at it, you go, okay, that's the two one seeds, right? It's Fuel and Snake, but I think. Either of the other two players could easily make that make it mm -hmm. in there. I don't think both of them, but I think one of them could possibly. Oh sure. Make that in there. I I need Snake to make it through because the Great Lakes have not shown shine bright in our predictions, but uh, the other two can beat Fuel. Please. I I think Fuel and Lefty are my picks. 
So sorry to the Great Lakes region. Yeah, I'm just looking at those. And sorry to Cal. I think y'all are sleeping on Snake, dude. I co-op with him like a lot. Um, that that dude has a really, really, really deep technical knowledge of the game. I think that he is easily on par with Fuel. I would pick Snake and Fuel to go up. Snake, yes. Snake, Snake's uh, problem in the past is that he's he started playing Hearthstone during the Boomsday expansion, so his collection has been fairly small. But it's it's pretty it's pretty normal now. I mean, he was yeah. on McDonald's last season as our one seed, and he jumped all the way up to 550 PR during the season, and he's playing for me again this season in Legacy. So, nice. I think I think he'll be. Uh, I think he can make it out. Yeah, I definitely agree. Well, that's every group. Um, I mean, there's no point in, I guess, uh, predicting who wins the whole thing yet, since. We could be predicting something you that has no chance. Yes, there is. Quaz. Yes, there is. Both Quaz wins the entire thing. All right. Rudy. I mean, Rudy. Quaz, Quaz wins. <laughs> Come, comes down to Quaz and Saku. Battle. There you go. If I sw Okay. I'm going to say it right now. If if the finals becomes Quaz versus Saku, I will contribute an additional 40 packs to the winner yeah. of the but if, if if the final becomes Saku versus Quaz, I will buy every participant in this entire tournament the minimum <laughs> amount of packs that they offer on the store, which is like three or something. That's right. Every yeah, single that's, person. That's going to be three on bucks uh, Three bucks a head. On my teacher's salary, I will buy three bucks a head every single person in this tournament. So that's a straight up $120 right. value you just throw yeah. down, right? I, let, I let, let me paint care. a picture for you. This is what's going to happen. Few, uh, Quaz and Saku are going to make it to the grand finals of this entire tournament. They're facing off against each other. They're uh, preparing for their match. They're scheduling when they're going to play. They sit down to play, and Quaz goes, um, excuse me, I think I need to log into my other account. You need to add me on battle.net. And Saku's like, oh, okay, sure, what is it? Uh, Quaz just looks across the table and goes, Hunter Ace. And then oh. Sak Saku's like, oh, that's that's a shame. I actually need to um, go on my other account, too. Uh, let me just uh, go log in real quick. And Quaz's like, all right, what's the battle tag? And Saku just Fast stops, 44. looks at him and says, just saying. Just saying. There you go. Fast 44. Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> I was trying to think of the, like, since Saku is, like, the least... Like angry person, I was trying to think of what yeah. the exact little. Yeah, sorry, you had to come Saku. up with the most toxic human being that you could possibly Saku. come up with Saku. in Hearthstone. Yeah, Saku clinically has multiple personalities. <laughs> As for yeah, it's, it's like split from. Yeah, split from Ed, Ed yeah. Norton. Yeah. What's his name? James McAvoy, and he just he just oh, like James shakes. McAvoy. That's right. Suddenly yep. he's like he like tweets in broken English and like complains about high rolls and stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> So, uh, so log into his Navi account. Yeah, sure, dude, man. log into Navi, dude. 100%. I beat him on stream all the time. Go right ahead. Uh, so, just to touch on the uh, the as we move to the uh, knockout phase. So obviously, since two people from every group is going to get out, that's going to be effectively twenty people getting into the group phase, and that means that we're not going to have a, a clear, you know, even bracket since there'll be four people who have a buy. So the four people who have a buy will be the four best match scores. Um, you know, so the most likely be players that went three and and then have the, you know, the best, the best overall record, uh, whether it be, you know, six and six and one, et cetera. So that's how we're going to basically, uh, rank the one through 20 seeds once we get to the, the bracket portion. So just to let everybody know, I know I'm taking this back from fun time to like real actual. So I apologize for that. But uh, I, fi I figured it was worth at least throwing it out there, so that way everyone knows what. The yeah, that makes sense. With the look, yep. So that's that's it. I think that's everything that we had to talk about tonight, and we did the uh, reveal. So I had a blast. Anything yeah, else fun. you guys got? Icon. Uh, Icon X seventy seven on Twitch. I love you all. Good night. Oh, he's not Icon underscore HS like uh, Saku has on screen right now. Yeah. I'm gonna change my Twitter handle. Kind of should. Uh, Mako, anything you want to say before we try to figure out how the hell we're going to uh, cast this match? Uh, uh, yes, uh, Spanish teacher NA on Twitch. Uh, yeah. He has some good uh, league streams. There you go. I stream, I stream only league Cross for zone, and then every once in a while, Trover saves the universe. <laughs> Perfect. All right. oh, yeah. Saku, off extraordinaire. Anything you want to pass along? No, just... 
gonna have a good time doing this uh, World Cup thing. See how it goes. I'm, I'm coming for you, Abby. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming excited. for you. I want to see Avi versus Saku. Yeah, it's going on Give stream. It'll Just be the me. it'll be the fastest two games ever. <laughs> Fastest match in the West. Yeah, it's like under under ten minutes, two games done. Poof. And that could happen, which I, I mean, not not to uh, not, not because of you, but like that would allow us <laughs> to get more matches on stream. That's right. <laughs> we'll just start ripping through matches like that, you know. Yeah, whatever. just have a t- have a ten minute minimum, Don Day. That's all. Oh, okay. So like five minutes of talking in the pregame, and then two minute interview after. Yeah. And then one minute for Avi, and then for the first game. <laughs> <laughs> then the after the the interview afterwards, yeah, two minute interview after. Yeah, so it's two minute games, two matches. We're good. Uh, in, in Big Ted, yes, correct. Uh, once the playoffs start, that will be no, it won't be one game a week. It'll still be the same. Uh, you know where we try to have everyone schedule on their own time. And you're able to progress through. It's kind of like the old uh, old Open Cups used to be, where if your next match is ready for you, you can play it. So uh, we might end up with like parts of the bracket getting ahead of one another, but that seems like it'll still be the preferable method to allow everyone to schedule in a way that uh, works best for them. So so the first round, once we get to uh, August 20, uh, 27th, will be you know everybody shotgun start on that round. But if people can't play for a few days, we might end up seeing like the second round get played before all the matches in the first round. So that's just going to be, uh, you know, how it goes. But that's, uh, you know, I think that's fine. We don't. Everyone's going to meet at the end anyway. So. Um, and we we have a match coming up after this, don't we? Looks like we do. <laughs> are we going directly after this, or are like we waiting? Well, do you, I mean, you probably need some time to set it up, don't you? Am I going to be off in this thing? Is that what's happening? I don't know. As so- unless Saku's going to be here. And he wants Saku to... might have bedtime. He's already at 11.30. <laughs> like it, it's going to take me about 10 minutes to kind of configure it, but um, who's who's doing it? Booze and Triss? Yes, it's Question Booze versus Triss. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if you need to go to bed, I'm sure Donde would be more than happy to do it, right? Oh, yeah. I'll do whatever. As we discuss this on stream. Um, Brushy Tuna, there's a, um, the, within the spreadsheet, you submit your shield. There is a place to submit your shield and then to view your the shields that have been submitted. That was yes. not the same not the same spreadsheet I sent out earlier. Different one. Yeah. 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 I'll have and to link to that booze, one. Well. Booze, you can do your links. They're, uh, they're p- pinned in the main... THL Discord where the THL World Cup prep is. Did you guys actually submit your shields yet? He was asking about it, so I think he's trying to do that. Brushy Tuna, it's pinned in the THL World Cup um, channel <laughs> of Discord. Okay, Bruce right. submitted his shield, so he's got to do his ban. Okay. And then we, Tris needs to do his stuff. And we should be good. All right. I'm trying to see how long it takes for the band to come through. So, or uh, shield to come through. You what? He shielded? I don't know. (laughs) Well, they should be on the fly right now. This wasn't planned. Yeah. So, like, Hat told me basically what's going to happen is once everybody puts their shield in, you know, it'll show up on the spreadsheet here, and that should be what everybody can, you know, use for reference. So, that's why uh, I am still waiting to see how it works because he knew more than I. Okay, so we can. Is yep. the Google Doc actually linked in uh, in disk? Should be. I thought it was one of the first things I pinned. Yeah. Uh, might not Are we be. ending this stream and starting a new one with the? Um... I think we probably should. I think we should. Uh, so, yeah, so everybody, cause I, cause everybody can wave. I can't. Yeah, everybody yeah. can wave. Thanks for coming out, guys. Let's figure it out. Don't go anywhere because we are going to come right back with opening ceremonies with, with... Booz versus Triss oh. in Group B. And we'll help Booz afterwards instead of on stream. There you go. All right. Have a oh, good yeah. night, everybody. Not good night. We'll be back. <laughs>